University Challenge. Asking the questions, more virgin. Hello and welcome to a new series and a new era of University Challenge. A few things have changed since the end of the last series, but all the important things remain the same. The format is still simple, the questions are still complicated, and the teams are still terrifyingly knowledgeable. First up this year are a pair of institutions that between them have made over 50 appearances in this competition and taken seven series titles. So this year's representatives have a lot to live up to. Founded by Henry VIII in 1546, Trinity College is one of Cambridge's largest, with just over a 1,000 students, which makes it around 1 40th the size of its opponent tonight. Nevertheless, it's educated six UK Prime Ministers, four Fields Medalists and 34 Nobel Laureates, with more recent alumni, including the mathematician Courtier Birkar, the author Jared Diamond and the television presenter Mel Gedroich. It's also produced three sets of University Challenge champions, most recently in 2014. Let's meet the team hoping to be the fourth who have an average age of 21 and a half. Hi, I'm Sarah Henderson. I'm from North London and I'm studying Japanese. Hi, I'm Agnejo Banerjee. I'm from Dundee and I'm studying for a PhD in maths. And their captain? Hi, I'm Ryan Chunsok Kang. I'm originally from Seoul, South Korea. I'm doing a PhD in organic chemistry. Hi, I'm Jeremy Yakshina. I'm from Białystok, Poland, and I'm doing masters in genetics. The University of Manchester has only existed in its current form since 2004, when the city's Victoria University merged with the Manchester Institute of Science and Technology. Officially, however, it dates its foundation to the establishment of the Manchester Mechanics Institute 180 years earlier, which aimed to provide facilities for working men to study part-time. It's now the UK's third largest university, with alumni including the physicist James Chadwick, the suffragist Christabel Pankhurst, and the screenwriter Jesse Armstrong. The team playing on its behalf tonight are seeking a record fifth series title and have an average age of 22. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Blue Medellos Reyes White. I'm from Franklin, Massachusetts, and I'm studying genetics. Hi, I'm Ilya Kuhlman. I'm from London, and I study medicine. And their captain? Hi, my name's Harrison Adira. I'm from Letchworth Garden City, and I'm studying a PhD in materials. Hi, I'm Dan Grady. I'm from Burton upon Trent, and I'm studying maths. I'm sure you all know the rules, but just in case starter questions are answered on the buzzer without conferring, get one right and you earn your team 10 points and a set of three bonus questions on which you can confer. Fingers or buzzers, here's your first starter for 10. Immaterialism is a concept associated with which philosopher, whose major works include an essay towards a new theory of vision in 1709 and treaties concerning the principles of human knowledge in 1710. In 1734, he became the Bishop of Cloyne. <laughs> Trinity Banerjee. Barclay. It is George Barclay, yes. <laughs> Your three bonus questions then, Trinity, are on cultural references in the novels of Haruki Murakami. First, which novel features the simultaneous plot lines of a teenage runaway and an old man who talks to cats? Its title includes the name of a major literary figure. Do we have anything? Um, I can't think of any titles that include literary figure offhand. Um, many, many. Um, if you have um, nothing to pass. <laughs> It's Kafka on the shore. Okay. Second, give the four words that complete the title of the Murakami novel that references a popular American song first released in 1939. South of the border and what? Do we have anything? No, I my Norwegian word that's not the American Gone song. with the wind. What? <laughs> I don't know, just guessing something. It's West of the Sun. Uh, subtitle, This Bird Has Flown. Uh, which Beatles song of 1965 okay. is the title of a 1987 yeah. novel by Murakami? Well, I nominate one of you. Norwegian uh, word. Yeah, nominate Sarah. Norwegian word. You got there in the end. Well done. It is Norwegian word. Let's have another starter question. What two-word term originates from a 1970 article by Japanese roboticist Masahiro Mori, in which a line graph plotted people's emotional responses to robots of increasingly... Uh, Manchester Senehediva. Uncanny Valley. It is Uncanny Valley. That's right. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses, Manchester, are on films directed twice by the same filmmaker. First... Cecil B. DeMille twice directed which epic retelling of a biblical tale? A silent version... Ben-Hur? No, it's the Ten Commandments. Which Austrian writer-director created the 1997 psychological horror film Funny Games, which he remade shot for shot in 2007 in English? Hanukkah. 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 It is Michael Hanukkah, yes. Alfred Hitchcock made two versions. 
the first in black and white in 1934, the second in colour in 1956, of films sharing what six-word title? In the latter film, Doris Day sang K Sarah Sarah. Six-word title. Psycho? Six-word title. Yeah. Psycho, six words. Six letters. Oh, six words. No. No, I'm not going to get it. Sorry. Pass. Yeah, Psycho's definitely not six words, <laughs> is it? It's the man who knew too much. Now, the starter question now. Of the world's cities with a population in excess of 100,000, which is the furthest away from any other city with as many... Trinity Banerjee. Perth? It's not Perth, no. You lose five points, I'm afraid, Trinity. With as many inhabitants or more. Daly City, California, is its nearest, located approximately 2,390 miles away. Manchester Coleman. Salt Lake City? No, it's Honolulu. Another starter question, then. Sun-bleached bones were most wonderful against the blue, that blue that will always be there as it is now after all man's destruction is finished. These are the words of which Wisconsin-born artist often referred to as the mother of American modernism? Manchester Senehedira. George O'Keefe. It is Georgia O'Keefe. <laughs> Correct. Your bonus questions in Manchester are on monarchs who reigned for 70 years or more. First, Prince Johann II ruled for more than 70 years between 1858 and 1929 in which landlocked European principality? Principality. Liechtenstein. 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 Johann. Yeah. Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. Yeah. Uh, Liechtenstein. It is Liechtenstein. Second, King Rama IX ruled which Asian country between 1946 and 2016? Oh, oh yes. Thailand. Yeah. Thailand. 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 Yeah. Thailand. It is Thailand. Third, having reigned for more than 70 years, which European king died in the same month that the Jacobite uprising, known as the 15, began in Britain? Is it, is it the Sun King, yeah? Louis the 14th? It was Louis the 14th, yes, 1643 to 1715. Let's have a picture starter then. For your picture starter, you're going to see the title of a Russian novel. For 10 points, name its author. Trinity Yakshina. Boris Pasternak. It is, that's Dr. Shivago. Pasternak's Dr. Shivago was officially denied publication in the USSR, but circulated widely nevertheless thanks to the clandestine distribution network known as Samizdat. For your bonuses, you're going to see the Russian titles of three more significant Samizdat works. In each case, give both the English title and the author of the work. First, this non-fiction work. Uh, Archipelag... Oh, Archipelag Gulag, it's by, by Solzhenitsyn. OK, uh, nominate Yakshina. Uh, Archipelag Gulag by Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Yes, or the Gulag Archipelago, yeah. Secondly, this novella. Uh, Dog's Heart by Bulhakov. Nominate Yakshina. Dog's Heart by Bulhakov. OK, I'll accept that. The usual English translation is The Heart of a Dog, but we'll take that. And finally, this novel. Oh. Yeah, nominate Banerjee. We by Zamyatin. It is by We by Yevgeny Zamyatin. <laughs> OK, another starter question now. The son of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, Menelik I. Were... Trinity Banerjee. Ethiopia. It's very impressive. It is Ethiopia, yeah. Two <laughs> uh, questions on a letter of the Greek alphabet then for you, Trinity Cambridge. Which letter in the second half of the Greek alphabet is used for a base two logarithmic scale used in geology as a measure of soil or rock particle size? Maybe like sigma? You want to try that? That's in the lower half, second half, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's let's try. Or sigma or rho. Rho might rho, be F, rho seems. OK, Hi, rho. rho. No, it's phi. Often represented as the letter phi. What name is given to the mathematical constant yeah, 1 on. plus the square root of 5 divided by 2, yeah. the limit of the ratio of consecutive terms of the Fibonacci sequence? Uh, the golden ratio. It is the golden ratio, yes. Finally, an uppercase letter phi is conventionally used for the cumulative distribution function of which probability distribution? Um, is this the, um, the, the it's radial...? Not because it's not that. It's, that's, that's the different. It's, it's not... I was wondering if like the, I was wondering if like an atomic orbital, or like, unless this is something from the math. It's not like no. geometric or something. Or... Uh, go, go with that. Come on. What do you want? Uh, nominate Sarah. Geometric? No, it's a normal distribution or Gaussian distribution. Now, the start of question then. Which experiment of 1953 involved a sealed system containing a mixture of water, hydrogen... Trinity Yakshina. Miller-Urey experiment. It is yeah. the Miller-Urey experiment. Well done. <laughs> Your bonuses, Trinity, are on artworks that depict crime scenes. First, two paintings of the 1590s, one showing a man's ring being removed during a supposed palm reading, the other depicting a rich youth being fleeced by card sharps. 
are the work of which Italian artist who himself led a semi-criminal life? Uh, Caravaggio. Yeah, Caravaggio. It's Caravaggio. In the late 1860s, which southern French artist painted The Murder? Some commentators say that his former school friend, Emile Zola, used him as the model for a doomed artist in his novel, The Masterpiece. So looking for a French artist. Um, 1860s, yeah. Um, Manet, maybe? Uh, I don't look at any other. OK, well, Manet? No, it's Cezanne. Uh, OK. Finally, a murderer at the scene of his crime and two bowler-hatted men armed with a club and a net feature in which painter's 1927 surrealist work, The Menaced Assassin? Bowler-hats, maybe, like... Magritte? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, Magritte? Magritte is correct, yes. Let us start the question then. Which US state is the principal setting of both the 2021 miniseries One Division and part of the 20. Uh, Manchester Deluxe Ray is white. New Jersey. It is New Jersey. <laughs> Your bonus questions in Manchester are on the Frankfurt School. Theodore Adorno co wrote the Dialectic of Enlightenment with which member of the Frankfurt School? Born in 1895, his other works include Authority and the Family and Eclipse of Reason. Oh God! This is this is Faber. I don't. I can't remember who. <sighs> no, no, no. Hayek is. Oh, oh, Faber. Um, Faber. Oh, I don't know who else it is. No, it's not. I'm not. I'm not going to get this time. Faber. Bad luck. It's it's Horkheimer. Max oh, Horkheimer. Wow. Another Max. A monument at Port Bohu in Catalonia marks the place where which member of the Frankfurt School died in 1940, attempting to flee the Nazis. He had entrusted one of his essays, Theses on the Philosophy of History, to Hannah Arendt. Oh, my good God, I don't know this. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to get it. Come on. Pass, pass. It's Walter Benjamin. <sighs> With which Ivy League university did the institutional home of the Frankfurt School become affiliated when it moved to New York in 1933, threatened by Hitler's rise to power? New York, New York. I thought it was Yale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was Columbia then. Columbia? It is Columbia University, yes. <laughs> Another starter question. Which epic poem compiled from oral tradition begins with a description of the world as created when Sotka, a golden eyed duck, lays seven eggs on the knee of Il Matar, the water mother? The first canto ends with the birth of the first human, Vina Murnan. <laughs> Trinity Banerjee. Kalevala. It is Kalevala. Well done. <laughs> Your bonus questions are on a shared. Surname Trinity. Gabriel John Utterson is the protagonist of which gothic novella of 1886? It's been variously interpreted as a parable on the wages of sin, the Victorian horror of unleashed sexuality, the Freudian ego versus the id, or the dualities of its author's native Scotland. Is, is this Jekyll and Hyde? Because there's an Utterson in Yeah, OK. Um, uh, I shall just nominate you. Yeah, nominate Banerjee. Uh, Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde. Yeah, it's a strange case of Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde, I'll accept that. Second, the academic linguist and diplomat Douglas Hyde was appointed as the first president of Ireland during which decade of the 20th century? Do we have... Is this, is this 1920s? Yeah, I would go for 1920s okay. as well. 1920s? No, it was 1930s, 1938. And finally, Anne Hyde was the first wife of which monarch? Is that Anne of Cleves, maybe? Oh, no, 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 she's German, so... Yeah, okay. um, Hyde Park is maybe named after her. Yeah, when so do we know anything around Hyde Park? Um, times that. We need to guess a monarch as well. I so. could go with, like, say, James. like, James II, something yeah. like that. I, I would go maybe oh. George the Fifth. Come on, you're not... George the First. No, it's James the Seventh and Second. OK. Oh. Let's have a music round. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music that is based on an older work. For ten points, name both the composer of the work you hear and the composer of the work on which it is based. Trinity Henderson. Purcell in Britain. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's good. Uh, your music starter was Britain's The Young Person's Guide to the Orchestra, which has the subtitle Variations and Fugue on a theme of Purcell. For your music bonuses, you'll hear three more classical pieces described in their titles as variations. In each case, I just want the name of the composer of the piece that you're hearing. First, for five points. Enigma Variations. Do you want to compose that, Elgar? Yeah. Uh, Elgar. It is Elgar, and it is Nimrod from the Enigma Variations. Secondly... Sounds quite 
Brahms here and try that. But... Okay, Brahms. It is Brahms. Variations wow. on a theme by Haydn. And finally. Goldberg. Oh. Oh, yeah, uh, Bach. That is Bach and the Goldberg variation. <laughs> Start a question then. Described at the time by Wisden as the most remarkable season by any side in the history of county cricket, which county won three trophies in the 1994 season, including the county championship, which they won by 42 points? Their season saw batsman Brian Lara set the record for the highest score in first class cricket, 501 not out in a match against Durham at Edgebaston. Manchester Coleman. Warwickshire. It was Warwickshire. At <laughs> that time, we had some more cricket questions on this programme, yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, three bonuses, then, on the history of solar power Manchester. In 1839, at the age of just 19, which French scientist created what is widely recognised as the first photovoltaic cell, consisting of platinum electrodes coated in silver chloride in an acidic solution? Oh, my God. No, no, no. no I... See what you think. I thought he was in my thesis, but I can't remember. Right. Just pass, just pass. Just pass, pass. It's Edmund Becquerel. Second, in 1883, the US inventor Charles Fritz developed a solar cell consisting of a layer of what calcogen element applied on top of a metallic base and covered with a film of gold? Willoughby Smith had discovered this element's photoconductivity a decade earlier. So that's um, um, in the oxygen group, so sulphur probably. Yeah, sulphur? No, it's selenium. In around 1888, Russian physicist Alexander Stolotov built the first solar cell based on the principle of the external photoelectric effect, discovered a year earlier by which German physicist? Was that Einstein? Oh, yeah, well, no, photoelectric photo 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 effect, he gave the explanations. 18, yeah. was it? Planck? No, it's Heinrich Hertz. Now the starter question. Described by Einstein as the greatest thinker he had ever known, which Dutch physicist shared the 1902... Ah. Manchester Senehedira. Lorenz. It is Lorenz. Well done. <laughs> Your bonus questions in Manchester are on 19th century economics. Born in Surrey in 1766, which economist gives his name to a theory or trap which states that population growth will always outstrip agricultural Mal productivity? Malthus. Thomas Malthus. It is Malthus. Along with Annie Besant, which secularist and social reformer established the Malthusian League in London in 1877 to campaign for birth control? Um, Sanger? Is that the right time? No. Sure, it's, it's a bit early for Pankhurst um, and then. But, Pankhurst? Yeah, good man. Pankhurst? Go Pankhurst, Manchester. Pankhurst? No, it was Charles Bradlaugh. An advocate of Malthusian population theory, which friend of Malthus published the 1817 work Principles of Political Economy and Taxation? Malthusian. Um, don't know, no? Um, um... Come on. Uh, Adam Smith. No, that was a different century. It was yeah, David, yeah, David yeah. Ricardo. Rick. Bad luck. Another starter question. With a vertical script written that can be seen in parts of the Forbidden City in Beijing, which critically endangered language was one of the official languages of the Qing dynasty? Manchester Grady. Mongolian? No. Trinity Banerjee. Manchu. Manchu is correct. <laughs> okay, your bonuses, Trinity, are on herbs belonging to the parsley family. Give the common name of each herb from the description. First, a herb with feathery green leaves and a grassy, slightly aniseed flavour. It's traditionally used to flavour gravelax and commercially pickled cucumbers. Dill? Yeah, dill. It is, of course, dill. Secondly, one of the four fin herb of classical French cooking, along with tarragon, parsley and chives. It's often used to flavour Bernays sauce, along with tarragon. Oh. Oh. Mm. I was reading this recently as well. Maybe thyme? Thyme. <laughs> That's chervil. Lastly, finally, a versatile herb with a peppery citrus flavour, used widely across Asian and Latin American cuisines. It's believed that variations in olfactory receptor genes cause some people to perceive its flavour as powerfully soapy or even rotten. Coriander. It is, of course, coriander. <laughs> Let's have another starter question then. So named due to band members often staring at their feet as they played, which alter... Uh, Manchester Grady. Shoegaze. It is shoegaze, nice. yes. <laughs> Your bonuses in Manchester are on three-word names or terms, all of whose words are the same length. For example, Salt Lake City. In each case, give the three words from the explanation. 
First, the name coined by Danish linguist Otto Jespersen in 1909 to describe changes in pronunciation of words in English between 1350 and 1700. Great vowel shift. Correct. Second, the waterway at which the towns of Slough, Aylesbury, Hemel Hempstead, Wendover and Northampton all stand. Ground Union Canal? Correct. In physics, the average distance an object, usually a molecule in a gas, will move between collisions. Um, um, mean um, something path, uh, mean free path, mean free path, mean free path. Correct. Just under seven minutes to go, all to play for. Here's a starter question, a picture starter. You're going to see a painting. For ten points, give me the name of the artist. Johannes Vermeer. It is Vermeer. You saw there Jan or Johannes Vermeer's young lady seated at a virginal. And for your picture bonuses, you'll see three more portraits featuring plucked string instruments. In each case, simply name the artist. Firstly. Gainsborough, maybe. Gainsborough. Um, any, any advances on Gainsborough? Yeah, give it go. Gainsborough. No advances necessarily, that's correct. Secondly. Very good. Yeah, uh, nominate uh, Yakshina. Tamara Wempitsky. Yeah, she's also known as Tamara Dilempitska. Thirdly? I'm not sure if it's going to be correct in using Gentileski because we have Chris Moore from... Oh, I feel like this isn't Gentileski. You were going to go for Come Gentileski, on. Gentileski. It is Gentileski. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Now, the start of the question then. Published in 1966, which novel begins in Jamaica shortly after the Slavery Abolition Act on a derelict plantation called Culibri, where protagonist Antoinette Cosway... Ah. Manchester Grady. White Sargasso Sea. It is. It is White Sargasso Sea. Well done. Your bonuses, Manchester, are in a class of organic compounds. What name is given to those organic compounds in which a carbon atom shares a double bond with an oxygen atom, a single bond with a hydrogen atom, and a single bond with another atom or group of atoms? Ketones. Ketones. No, I can't accept that. It's aldehydes. Second, the simplest of the aldehydes, with a formula HCHO, which colourless pungent gas is widely used in aqueous solution as a disinfectant and preservative for biological specimens. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. Correct. Formaldehyde is used to make which thermosetting resin? Named for its Belgian-born inventor and widely used in the early 20th century for electrical insulation and the manufacture of objects such as telephones and billiard balls. Bakelite. Bake. Is that bakelite? Bakelite. Bakelite. Correct. Another start of question then. Each in a different language. What colour links all of the following? A hormone-secreting body formed following ovulation. A Chinese cultural hero includes... Trinity Kang. Yellow. It is yellow. <laughs> Correct. Your bonuses, Trinity, are on pairs of antipodal cities. Name both cities from the description. First, almost exactly, Antipodes, the oldest city in New Zealand, damaged in a 2011 earthquake, and a city in Galicia, home to the 2008 Intertoto Cup co-winners and the 2000 La Liga champions. Christchurch was, like, damaging. OK, yeah. Christchurch and... In Viv, in Viv. In, in, in Galicia, Spain, or Galicia... Galicia, Spain, because it's a La Liga in 2010. Okay. Maybe Valencia? Mm, in Galicia, so it has to be Vigo or La Coruña. Maybe La Coruña. Let's go with La Coruña. La Coruña. Come on. La Coruña. La Coruña and Christchurch. Yes, that's correct. Secondly, within 100 kilometres of being precise Antipodes, a city in Asia, the capital of a de facto state, whose official name is abbreviated to ROC, and an inland capital city known as the Mother of Cities because it is the oldest city in the River Plate Basin. The River mm. Plate Basin. Is that Buenos Aires? It Buenos might Aires. be, yeah, because they all like antipodes from Taipei because it's the Republic of China. Oh, yeah, okay. Taiwan, so. Yeah, okay. Taipei and Buenos Aires. Taipei and Buenos Aires? No, it's Taipei and Asuncion in Paraguay. Roughly 900 miles away from being exact antipodes, these two cities hosted consecutive Olympic Games in the 21st century. 21st century, so it's Sydney, Athens, Beijing, Beijing, London, London, Rio, Tokyo. And they were consecutive, right? Yes. So do you want to go with... Rio and Tokyo. Rio and Tokyo. Tokyo. OK, yeah. Rio and Tokyo. Correct. Just have a few minutes to go, still in at Manchester. Here's a starter question for you. Which historical region of France takes its name from a Germanic tribe that migrated from the island of Bornholm in the 3rd and 4th centuries AD? In 2016, it merged with the region of Franche-Comté, maintaining its capital at Dijon. Manchester Coleman. Burgundy. It is Burgundy. Your bonus is Manchester are on plays that feature scientific themes. In each case, I'm looking for the name of the playwright. First, the Irish author of The Doctor's Dilemma, a 1906 play centred around the ethical difficulties of having only finite medical resources. His other works include Widower's Houses and Man and Superman. 
Uh, that's Bernard Shaw. 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 Bernard Shaw. George Bernard Shaw is correct. Second, the Norwegian author of the 1883 play, An Enemy of the People, about a man who goes public with the unfortunate fact that his town's spa waters are contaminated by bacteria. His other works include The Lady from the Sea and The Master Builder. I think that is Ibsen. Ibsen. It is Ibsen. The English author of The Brass Butterfly, a 1958 play set in 3rd century Rome, about a scientist who invents anachronistic weaponry and technology, leading to catastrophe. His other works include the novels The Spire and Rites of Passage. Rites of Passage, William Golding. William Golding. It is William Golding. Here's another starter question. What surname links the director of video games, including Elden Ring, Bloodborne and Dark Souls, and the director of films, including Castle in the Sky, Kiki's Delivery Service... <laughs> Manchester de los Reyes White. Miyazaki. It is Miyazaki. Your bonus is Manchester are on words that derive ultimately from the Proto-Indo-European root cares, K-E-R-S, meaning to run. In each case, give the word from the description of its etymology. First, from the Latin for to run, this word came to mean a journey or expedition. Then, an expedition specifically for plunder. The current English word comes from the French and means privateer or pirate. Mm -hmm. It comes from cares, though, cares. Buccaneer, Buccaneer? Buccaneer? No, it's Corsair. Second, a word from a Celtic word for wagon via Latin and then Italian, where it developed the meaning to overload a wagon, and from there the sense of an exaggeration, comical or satirical. Okay. Um, satire, like, uh, okay. no, I, no, no. Pause. It's caricature. Finally, from an old French word meaning runner and an Anglo-Norman word meaning messenger, a noun denoting a guide who assists courier, tourists, courier. or someone courier. who transports goods and packages. Courier. Courier. The courier. Courier, here's another starter question. With the lung capacity about three times that of cattle and having smaller red blood cells to improve the blood's ability to transport oxygen, the long-haired, short-legged, bovine animal was billions... Ah. Manchester de los Reyes White. Yak. It is yak. <laughs> and with a couple of seconds to the drive, your bonuses are on physics, specifically single words that end with electricity. In each case, give me the term from the definition. First, also known as frictional electricity, the form of contact electrification that produces an electric charge on a material when it is rubbed against a different material. Static. No. Okay. Manchester University of 175 and Trinity College came into also 175. Well, that was one hell of a game. And what happens now is that we have a tie break. And I need to be extremely clear with you about the rules of the tie break, which is that we ask the next starter question that would have taken place in the game. And if you get it correct, then you win. But if you interrupt and get it wrong, then your team loses five points and that's enough to knock you out and for the other team to win. OK. To win it, then, fingers on buzzers, here is your tie break, starter for 10. Founded in 1984 in reaction to the lack of gender diversity in the art world, which activist art group created the 1989 poster Do Women Have to Be Naked to Get ah. Into? Manchester Senna Hedera. Gorilla Girls? It is Gorilla Girls. <laughs> and with that, my goodness, wow, Manchester. Wow. You've pulled off one hell of a victory. I think after an extremely painful beginning, you've, uh, you've come back with Trinity. My goodness, I'm so sorry. I think it was quite possibly strong enough to see you come back, so we may well see you again. Well done on a completely phenomenal performance, and thank you both so much for keeping us hugely entertained. That was impressive. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match, but until then, it's goodbye from Trinity College, Cambridge. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. And it's goodbye from Manchester University. Goodbye. goodbye. It's also goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>